What is a vector database? It's a database where objects are searched and retrieved based on their characteristics rather than by searching tables and matching keywords. This, as we'll see, makes vector databases very good at searching unstructured data such as text, documents, images, videos or audio files. And this is why you'll find these databases at the heart of popular applications like recommendation systems, natural language processing and generative AI. Here's how it works. An object features are identified by sophisticated machine learning models and stored in a unique data type called a vector. An image file of a car, for example, will have numbers assigned that correspond to the car's features, including the number of doors, size of tires, style of roof, overall length and body color, and so on. The string of numbers is the image's vector embedding. The embedding gives a mathematical representation of the object that can be easily used by computers. Our simple vector has 12 dimensions, but a vector embedding can run to over a thousand digits, and a database might hold millions of vectors. This is where vector databases shine. Let's say we have image files that picture both cars and food. Vectors are arranged into an index that lets the database quickly search and retrieve objects. Cars will be indexed near other cars, and foods will be near other foods, allowing for fast, nearest neighbor searches. In this case, the database can ignore embeddings for any object that is further away and focus on sedans. If you're searching for something orange, the color orange vector for the carrot and the truck would have already been indexed close together in terms of color, and the database would find them both quickly. To simplify our example, we're using two-dimensional graphs, but vector indexes work in very detailed, high-dimensional space and use sophisticated math to group and retrieve items. Now, if the vector embeddings are stored in a multimodal database with indexes for relational tables, graphs, or other data types, it becomes an even more powerful tool for developers of business applications. To understand why, let's look back at our image of the car. Vector search can help a car sales chatbot quickly find cars in a vast dataset that closely match a customer's query. That same database also connects the car with up-to-date pricing, inventory location, loan options, or other business data to help zero in on the perfect car and facilitate a transaction. Ah, oh, love it. This all happens in one database for simple app development, better data governance, and lower cost.